if you guys have not heard the news yet, Bob Saget, a comedian, an actor, and an all-time legend, passed away at the age of 65. And you guys know that we have an interesting relationship with Bob Saget on this channel. And today, I just want to briefly talk about his passing and just the shocking news because so many of you guys have been hitting me up because, as you may or may not know, uh, Bob Saget has tried to come for me before legally because we had a moment on this channel about nine months ago where I posted a video about him that went viral and I don't like okay viral is like a weird term because like people are just like if your like mom gets a bunch of face like likes on her Facebook picture it's gone viral but like ultimately it really did and I've never really had a moment like that as a creator and when I put out this video the 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 part that was like really interesting i guess is because a lot of people made videos about my video so then tiktoks were being created those were getting millions of views even though my video went to like 800,000 or 900,000 views like people were making other videos because of my videos and it really just started a wave where people were talking about bob saget in a way that they never really have before and i got in big trouble for that. I had a really big law firm who still harasses me over certain things like still we'll get into that in my Drake video. But uh, yeah, same lawyer. And this guy came after me and it was a scary experience. I actually ended up um, I don't know if I'm getting ahead of myself. I ended up having to film an apology and I, it, the, the apology was never released. Um, I actually was, I was thinking I'll maybe I'll link it below in the description. You guys can check it out. Like if you want to, whatever, um, I'll unlist it and do that. If I forget, please let me know. But anyways, I filmed it on my kitchen floor because part of our agreement was that I was going to retract everything and make a video. And honestly, I'm glad the video never really went out because I don't stand by it because I don't think I did anything wrong in my coverage of him but nonetheless i am really shocked that he has passed away he is only 65 which maybe 65 sounds like old to you guys but really it's not nowadays like 65 is like the new like 45 and it like seemed like bob was pretty healthy he was going around like jet skiing and tiktoking and all these things and to hear the news i usually like okay maybe this is a little shady when betty white passed away Obviously, I was like, whoa, but like, I've never seen anything with Betty White. So I don't like I've never seen Golden Girls. I've never seen any of her movies, whatever. But Bob Saget, I've had him like we've had something personal. Like he knows who I am because he sent his lawyers after me, which if you guys do want me to go through that cease and desist letter, I will go through it. I'm going through a bunch of them that I've been sent before um, just because I have like good legal representation now. And I was definitely being walked all over by a lot of people, not not anyone in, even in particular, but just a few different like, you know, entities that hit me up and like, honestly, did I do anything wrong? Not really, but they just had good lawyers and I was oh so scared because I had no idea what I was doing. Back to Bob Saget, though, I am honestly really like sad almost over it. I'm not over here like, whoa, like Bob Saget passed away. Like, no, like I feel shocked and I feel a little bit like scared and just like, wait, what happened? So let's go ahead and look at some of these articles because the news really just broke. Well, I mean, probably about an hour ago, uh, I spent some time just like calling people like, whoa, do you know, like he passed away. But I just want to go and look at what they're saying because there's really no information. So it looks like he passed away in a Florida hotel room. Why does everything happen in Florida? I literally just moved to Florida yesterday. So actually, let me know what you think about the setup, because it's not like uh, it's got blue walls. I don't know what to do anyways. So um, I just moved to Florida, which, again, makes it even more shocking to me because I'm like, he's kind of close to me. I don't know actually where Orlando is, but um, I feel like it's not that far away because Florida's like not that big. Anyways, he was found in his hotel room, which that being found inside a hotel, like there's something very scary about that because no sick person or person who's not doing well, like, who's about to pass away, are going to be, they're not going to be alone in a hotel room. So he was traveling for whatever reason, maybe work, maybe an appearance, and he's just found in a hotel room. So obviously he wasn't anticipating being sick. Uh, I do want to acknowledge that we do have like COVID, like COVID is going up and up and up. And you guys know I've had my own experience. I'm doing a lot better now. Thank you guys for all the nice messages. But um, it, yeah, it looks like he passed away this Sunday and they got a call to the, the police did about an unresponsive man in a hotel room. Um, 
interesting because they're not saying like okay he's unresponsive but he's not like they're not saying he's completely gone because i feel like unresponsive you could still be breathing this is the um tweet that was sent out earlier today deputies were called to the ritz carlton which you guys know jamie lynn spears only stays at the ritz carlton but they got a call about an unresponsive man in a hotel room identified as robert saget and he was pronounced dead on scene no signs of foul play or drug use interesting they bring those up i'm glad they did i think that's probably the, like one of the most important parts of the sentence or of the whole you know statement because uh wait what that makes it kind of a mystery no signs of foul play so no one did it to him no one hurt him and then no drug use so was he just sick and naturally passed away at 65 like i feel like 65 seems just so young to me maybe i'm being like maybe i'm like not thinking correctly but like what's the age like range for americans like i don't know let's see um like i don't even know how to google that like what do you google like what's the rate i guess like maybe 65 does fall into that time period but uh on average when do people die i don't know what to how do you google this i don't know how to google this Oh, 79 to 78. So yeah, like 10 years kind of early, like something's sus here. So yeah, he was on tour and like he just started the tour. Look at it. January 7th, January 8th. He's done two nights. So if anyone went to those two nights and like that was the last time he was seen publicly alive and he had so many more dates, like it wasn't like he was like. He wasn't tapping out anytime soon. He had a whole plan. He even said there are going to be for more dates in the future announced. So, um, oh my God, he was going to be in West Palm Beach, January 28th. That's literally where I'm at. <gasps> oh my God. I don't know why I'm like so stressed out over this. He even just, oh my, he even tweeted out um, on January 9th. What? I guess like after the show, loved tonight's show in Jacksonville. Um, appreciative audience. Thanks to this guy for opening. I had no idea I did a two hour set tonight. I'm happily addicted again to this stuff. Check out for more tour dates. Bro, I'm like lagging right now. Why am I even lagging? There was really no plan for this guy to stop. And that like just makes me scared because did he like have like COVID and then like just passed away. Like what could have happened where he had an awesome set the night before. So great. He did two hours. He's addicted to it. He loves it. And now he's just dead. Something just doesn't seem to add up to me. And honestly, you guys know we've had our issues with Bob Saget before, but like it says no foul play, but you never really know. And I really hope there is some type of investigation because, um, Something about this doesn't seem right. Like when Betty White passed away, we were kind of like, oh, like she passed away. Like people have been like preparing this for a while. I remember like Fox had a thing that went up and it was like it said that she died like months before she even actually passed away. Um, so like people were prepared for that. People weren't prepared for this Bob Sackett. And I'm like, I honestly do feel really bad just in general for him and honestly to his family. So um, at the end of the day, maybe he wasn't a great guy. We have talked about that in a previous video, but like no one deserves to like pass away in some mysterious way. And it's like, it'd be different if he was like, you know, kind of gone away and hidden and like relaxed and retired. But this was a working man with a whole plan in 2022 to come back and do a comedy tour. And something just doesn't add up. So I just wanted to hop on here and say hi to you guys. It's been a minute since I filmed. I'm going to film another video for tomorrow, but I just wanted to like get on camera again and say hi. I am now, yes, in Florida. I've made it safely and I am feeling good. So uh, look out for a new vlog coming hopefully sometime this week and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys. Bye.